Now, our top story. The girls' soccer team won their semifinal match at Wichita North Cup last night, 4-0 over Circle High School yesterday. Ariana Sanchez scored a pair of goals in the 47th and 57th minutes. The Lady Buffs will next take on the Wichita Heights in the final match. Action is underway. The swim team took first at Salina South Invitational yesterday. Abigail Janess Doherty had the team's only solo victory in the 50-yard freestyle with a time of 27.40 seconds. Their next competition will be at the Western Athletic Conference meet, which they will host at 4 p.m. on Thursday at the YMCA pool here in Garden City. The softball team will next hit the diamond today in Emporia. The tournament starts at 4 p.m. The Buffalo baseball team will next be in action at the Emporia tournament today. Action is underway. The Buffalo boys tennis team will next host the 6A regional tournament this Saturday morning. The track team will next compete at Derby today. They'll get things running starting at 3 p.m. The golf team will next compete at Liberal this Tuesday. And that's all for your spring sports and activities. Let's take a look at what's happening with the Counselor's Office and Career Center right after this. Thanks, Mickey. Attention juniors, if you have a 3.0 GPA, you qualify to apply for Kansas Girls State. Girls State is a great opportunity for you to gather on a university campus with other juniors from across the state. You will learn how our government is organized, how it operates, and actually get to campaign for office, create, lobby, and pass a bill. You are invited to apply if you are in the upper half of your class, involved in school and community activities, and have an interest in government and current events. If you are interested in applying, please see Ms. Youngman in the Arts and Communications office. Girls' state applications are due by May 1st. The boys' basketball team season ended on Friday night with a loss at Mays High School. The Buffs suffered a 61-48 defeat to the Eagles in the sub-state final. GCHS was led by senior Caleb Tramp with 26 points and 9 rebounds. In his final game in a Buffalo jersey, the team finished their season with a 13-8 record. The Garden City bowling team traveled to Wichita at North Rock Lanes on Friday for the state tournament. Alexa Hemmer, the lone girls qualifier, bowled a three-game series of 652 on individual games of 238, 230, and 184, which put her in fourth place in the state. The boys' team was also successful knocking down a total of 2,645 total pins for a team finish of fourth place. The individual placers include Tristan Funk finishing sixth individually, Carl Larson Jr. was ninth, and Taylor Larson placed 17th. There will be several club meetings today. Chess Club will meet in P110 at 3.30 p.m. Culture Club will be in T210 at 3.30 p.m. Weightlifting Club will be in the weight room at 3.25. And Riding Club will be in T219 at 3.30. There will be a band concert at 7 o'clock p.m. tonight in the auditorium at the high school. The concert band will present three pieces. Symphonic Band will present two pieces. And the Wind Ensemble will present four pieces during the concert. And that's all for your winter sports and activities. Let's take a look at weather with BBS TV meteorologist Mickey Bridges. Time is running out to purchase your yearbook. The deadline to purchase the 2015 yearbook is May 14th. Order forms are located outside of the yearbook classroom, CL 108 in the Red Academy basement. The cost of the book is $60. Don't miss out your order. Order your yearbook by May 14th. The DCHS class of 2015 would like to invite the community along with family and friends to celebrate them with them at the GCHS Auditorium Saturday, May 16th at 10 a.m. for the 2015 worship service. Garden City High School 2015 graduates will have the opportunity to purchase their iPad at the current fair market value of $100. There are a limited number of iPads available for purchase by seniors. The first 100 seniors that sign up will be able to buy them. You must sign up by May 1st and pay by May 8th. And be sure to follow the high school on Twitter at GCHS Buffs. Keep up to date on all the events happening at GCHS. Again, the Twitter handle is at GCHS Buffs. That's all the news from the Counseling Office and Career Center. Now back to more of your Buffalo news with Claudia right after this. Thank you for joining us today on Buffalo News as we have given you a look at the important news from Garden City High School. For the award-winning staff and crew of Buffalo News, I'm Nicole Rivera. And I'm Madison Farr. And will anybody please go to prom with me? 